Hello, my name is Egg Bramhelm. That's egg as in chicken, hard boiled, egg as in sunny side up. Uh, our resident guru, Tony Priestner, has kindly invited me to do a guest tutorial for his excellent site, zarazone.com. This tutorial is not really about uh, Zara Extreme, but more about how to create video tutorials for Zara Extreme. Uh, so we're going to be looking at how to create video tutorials for posting on YouTube.com. Okay, the first thing we uh, oh, I'd like to look at, I'll just move this screen down a touch, is the um, screen capture software. Okay, the requirements basically are a microphone and some screen capture software. Um, I use Camtasia, um, but if you haven't got any, any screen capture software, I suggest you just uh, open up Google and type in something like free screen recorders. Uh, and there are quite a few uh, free ones out there. I can't guarantee what they're like. Um, but that's basically uh, what you need. Um, you don't. You need something that will not only just capture the whole screen, but capture a particular window. So you need something that will just capture that window like that. Okay, anyway, that's basically that section over. Um, right, Windows Real Estate. This is probably the hardest part to grasp. Here's a typical A4 landscape page scaled down to fit a YouTube window size. Whilst the tractor di displays well, and that's basically because it's a vector, note that uh, you can hardly see the toolbars and the info bars at all. So as a tutorial tool, it's pretty useless. Okay, um, now I've zoomed into 100%. Now you can see the tool and the info bars, etc. very well. Um, the problem is that you can only see part of them, and not all of them. Um, so if I was actually try and use this as a, as a tutorial, I'd be forever scrolling the screen up, just so you can see the status bar, to see the um, drawing and then in here to see say the feathering tools and you wouldn't be able to see a lot about it at all. Um, the problem is you're trying to f uh, fit uh, a quart into a pint pot, in fact you're trying to fit uh, two quarts into a pint pot by um, trying to get an 800 by 600 plus type screen into a 320 by 240 screen uh, and note that whilst um, YouTube guarantee it actually recommends 320 by 240 they actually display at 425 by 350 um, and of course the screen furniture takes up a lot of that um, that real estate um, here's my solution um, basically it's a, a Zara extreme template um, which I call Camtasia, Camtasia. Um, and I'll attach it to this um, video tutorial. Um, so w once you've got that installed as a template, you just go File, New, Camtasia, and then you grab the, and it's hard to show you on here, but you grab the um, bottom right-hand corner and sque squeeze the screen down until it just encompasses the, um, the gray rectangle. Um, and then once that's the, the, the you're actually that's the optimum size for recording. Um, one thing you'll notice here is that I've got no scroll scroll bars. Um, I've gone to uh, Windows um, bars and untick the scroll bars just to try and free up some more real estate. Real estate. The other problem, of course, is that um, you haven't got the toolbar. Um, you've got all your info bars. You've got your color bar. You've got your status bar, but you haven't got the toolbar. And I've uh, looked at this and I've actually thought about having a floating toolbar um, rather similar to this. Um, but the problem with that is that um, it's this auto docking. And when you're working with a very small screen, this tends to auto dock and virtually makes it useless. OK, so here uh, what I've actually done is gone for the compromise and put the uh, scroll bar in a horizontal direction um, and it works well you've cut down the the, the the actual physical size of the real estate where you can actually draw in but 
at least you can see the majority of the um, scroll bar and I'll deal more uh, later on at how, how you actually um, see the rest of the tool, uh, toolbars and the um, and the info bars right before you start recording it helps to have as much um, ready as possible um, and this is where pre-planning comes in um, so everybody will create and plan the video in different ways for example I never use a script likewise it's nearly impossible to create a tutorial on the fly so what I do is use dry runs as I draw the objects that are required for the tutorial I talk myself through in the main steps in my head and I'll do this several times um, so finally when it comes to recording I pretty much know what I need to say even if I'm not articulate enough to say it however if you want to use the script that's fine you can do it some things that can be useful to plan ahead for the first one is to have an opening and closing title and uh, in the Camtasia um, in the Camtasia the bloody hell's its name template um, you can see here that um, there's various things there's one is a screen size which is you actually use just a sc uh, screen that get the screen size correct and then um, you can carry on you've got an opening title here so you can set up the opening title you've got a closing title here you can cl open and close that in closing title and then you've got the drawing layer and once you've done that you can actually then shut up the uh, just make these um, visible and invisible as you want and you're ready to go the other thing is, of course is uh, if you're going to use any galleries you can have your galleries open off screen ready for use whenever you want so here I've got a clip art gallery and I want to import a, a Cypriot flag. Um, I'll just drag in the clip art gallery and that's already there. I can then drag and drop that on and move that off the screen and that's the um, that saves me having to open the clip art gallery and then drilling down through the various um, levels of the clip art gallery just to find that there's nothing worse than trying to find a clip art gallery or or something else when you can't get it and then we come to the audio and sound sound um, the best thing I found to do is just check do a dummy test uh, or a few sound checks to make sure the sounds okay um, and of course the other thing is to unhook the phone swear the wife to silence unplug the doorbell and get the kids to take the dog for a walk um, it all helps nothing worse in the middle of recording than one of these letting you off I right, actually now move on to